Hi there folks, Kevin Caro here with today's PM update. We are taking a look at what we're working on for Thursday's edition of the Times Leader. I'm here today at the Hilton Garden Inn where our Times Leader Media Group Health and Career Fair is underway until 7 p.m. Here with me is Times Leader publisher Carrie Miscavige. She'll tell you a little bit more about what we've got going on here today. Thanks, Kevin. We have 12 local, very large healthcare providers right here at the Hilton Garden Inn. We are here till seven o'clock tonight, so if you are looking for a job in the medical field, come on over. We're so conveniently located right here in Wilkes-Barre, and we're here till seven o'clock tonight. Thanks. And again, that's the Hilton Garden in here in Wilkes-Barre Township. Thank you so much, Carrie. In other news today, a Wilkes-Barre man is jailed without bail on allegations he downloaded and possessed hundreds of images of child sexual abuse materials, including taking lewd pictures of a girl known to him. Ed Lewis will have that story for you. The indoor aquaponic vertical farming company Upward Farms recently announced plans to add what will be the world's largest vertical farm to its network, and that's going to be located right here in Luzerne County. Bill O'Boyle has the details on that. And remember folks, nominations for the Times Leader's 2022 Best of the Best Awards are now open and will remain open through this Sunday, January 30th. Visit timesleader.com backslash best of the best to nominate your favorite local businesses. As always, folks, we thank you for reading, and if you're not already a Times Leader subscriber, all you have to do is call 570-829-5000, and we will get you set up. That's all for now, folks. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your evening.